ladies welcome back to my channel this is the aunt angie channel and today we're going to talk about the offensive line so we're just going to talk about the players that are on the line not the entire offensive team so their job is to protect the quarterback or whoever has the ball these are big guys okay and they take their job very seriously so they do this by blocking the defensive linemen and trying to create holes in um in the line or they try to block them and kind of push them to the center so that the running backs can either um, get around the edge or the quarterback can get around to the end. In a passing game, the line is trying to hold the defensive line so that it gives the quarterback more time to make his decisions about how he's going to put that ball down the field in terms of a pass. So let's talk about the positions for a minute. So here we have the offensive line and I've made this little diagram for you. You can see the line of scrimmage there in the gold and then the players set up with the center in the middle and then to his left or right is a guard so the left guard or the right guard and then to the left or right of them is going to be the tackle so you've got the left tackle down at the end or the right tackle down on the right side on the line now when they line up the football is placed on the line of scrimmage and everyone's hands have to be um they can't cross, they can't cross the line of scrimmage, which is the length of the football. So everyone's hands have to be um, either behind the football on, on both sides. So the only person who can cross those lines is the center. And his job then is to handle the ball. And we'll talk about him here in a second. The left tackle or the, the right tackle is going to be what's called the blind tackle. And it depends on what hand the quarterback throws with. So if the quarterback is right-handed and he throws with his right hand, He's going to get the ball and your blind tackle is going to be your left tackle. This is one of the most important positions on the team. Um, it's if you're talking about the NFL, it's it's well um, compensated. And those guys are very, very important because because as the, the quarterback takes the ball, he's going to run back. He's going to turn and hold the ball like this and go to throw it. And he's not watching what's happening on his left side because it's behind him now. And so that tackle over there plays a very um, important role and has to be very, very good at what he does. So that is the blind tackle. So that is is more of a designation um, because it could be the right tackle. It could be the left tackle. Typically, it's the left tackle because most quarterbacks are right handed. But if you have a left handed quarterback, then your right tackle is going to be your blind tackle. So let's talk about the poor centers. So they have a bit of a problem because they have two jobs that they're supposed to be doing at the same time. So they're the ones, like I said, they get their hands on the ball. No one can cross the line of scrimmage and the offensive line can't move until the center moves the ball, until he hikes the ball to the quarterback. Now, that's great, except that as soon as he moves that ball, that defensive man that's right across from him is going to try to destroy him. So he's got to be able to get the ball to the quarterback and be moving forward kind of at the same time because he's got to try and get a leg up on the defensive men that's coming at him. So if the defense or excuse me, if the offensive center, if this, if the center um, doesn't get the ball to the quarterback efficiently, if he's too concerned about what's coming at him from across the line, then that's going to end up with a bad snap. And a snap is when the center actually brings the ball back into the quarterback's hands. So when you have a bad snap, you have potential for a fumble. And a fumble is when the ball is dropped. And if the ball is dropped, you potentially can have um, the other team recover the ball, which means now that it's their ball and they get to start moving forward with a first down, or you get a loss of downs. Now there's potential that the quarterback could fumble it, pick it back up and finish the job, but it makes it really hard when there's all of this commotion going on for that to happen. The other issue that the center faces, which I have alluded to, is that he has this huge guy coming across the line at him. So he's concerned about that. Um, but he also has um, kind of a third issue is that he's the one who is the leadership on the team. So the quarterback is calling the play and we are looking for quarterback to lead the team. I guess I should say the center um, is the leadership for the line. And so the, the, the center has to um, give, give information to the linemen if the defense moves. 
So if the defense moves after they've already lined up, then the center has to instruct the ends and whatnot of what they're supposed to be doing and how they need to change their approach to be able to make this play happen. So he's going to be aware of what's going on on the off or on the defensive line so that he can instruct the offensive line of how to change their approach while still keeping in motion the play that they've already established with the quarterback. So that can be really difficult. Um, and he has to do it all in code, which if you know anything, like if you've had kids playing um, ball before, they're always trying to learn plays and you, you've probably heard them talking about some of the plays in code. And so there's certain code words that they will use that um, to, to give the instructions to those offensive linemen. So your centers, while they're these big burly guys and we like to kind of think about like, oh, they're just the fat dumb jocks. They're actually not. These are the guys who are probably, um, they've got to be the, the fastest on their feet in, in terms of thinking and um, thinking on their feet because they've got to be able to adapt and, and figure things out very quickly. Okay. So then we come to guards and guards need to do two things. They need to destroy the defense. So they've got to be big burly guys. Um, and they're trying to create a hole for the running backs. So they might push, push towards the center. They might push towards the out. It depends on what the play is um, and create a line in the middle for the running back to run through. Those are my least favorite plays. I hate them, but I'm not an expert. Okay, so their job is to do that um, and to create those holes or to just keep those defensive linemen from getting at the quarterback. So that's your job for the guard. Then you've got your tackles. And so they're the ones that are gonna be on the ends. Again, we talked about one of them is gonna be the blind side tackle. And they have a really hard job because their job is to contain the line. So you've got this defensive line here and all these defensive players, and they've got to try to keep it contained um, so that if you have a running play, those runners can get around the end and get their yards. So the tackles have got to figure out, okay, am I trying to, to keep them contained so they can run up around the end? Do I need to split the line and tackle these guys over here and help um, help the rest of the, the offensive line to, to keep these guys contained in the center, split off a, sign, a little bit and create a gap here so that my running back can run through. So they've got to be able um, to be quick on their feet. The other problem that you have with tackles is that sometimes they're double teamed. Um, the defense might send a couple guys to take out the tackle. And so they could be working double time. So they could potentially have to tackle this guy and then have to run over and block another guy from getting tackled. So they have a very difficult job. They're, they're kind of trying to see the field all at the same time. It's not necessarily that they have like one set play. So the center, while he's trying to orchestrate things with changes, um, he's kind of plowing through and he ends up kind of in a big pile where the tackles, they're still, they're still at work as the play is going. So they need to keep going. All right, ladies, that's all I have on the offensive line. Hopefully that helps to make a little bit more sense about what the line is doing. We'll cover the other players, um, as we go on. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Hey ladies, thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you learned something about the offensive line. If you have questions, comments, or anything like that, please leave them below. And of course, please subscribe and send this to all of your friends, your sisters, your mom, um, and that lady down the bleachers. Thanks. Bye.